Now to answer part C, I feel it's better if we draw a sketch of a histogram, or should I say part of the histogram. Now we're told that there were nine children then that watched TV between 20 and 29 hours. So I'm going to imagine that this is the bar that represents this particular situation. And remember that this lower bound here would have to be on the time axis 19.5, not 20, and the upper bound here would be 29.5 because the time is measured to the nearest hour. We're told then that the number of children, that's the frequency, okay, which is equivalent to the area within this bar, is 9. We're told also that the width of the bar is 2 centimetres and the height is 3.6 centimetres. And we're asked then to find the area represented by each child. But you've got to show that it is 0.8 centimetres squares. Well, to do this, all we've got to do then is just simply say what the area for nine children would be. And that area would be the area of the rectangle. So I'll just write here the area for nine children all right, is clearly going to be 2 times 3.6. Working that out, that comes to 7.2 centimetre squares. So therefore, the area for one child has obviously got to be this value divided by 9. So that would be 7.2 divided by 9. And working that out, you get 0 0.8 centimetre squares. And that's the end of part C. Now in part D, we're asked to find the total number of children in the group, given that the total area under the histogram is 24 centimetre squares. So the total number of children must be equal to 24 centimetre squares and we must divide that by 0 0.8 because every time we have 0 0.8 centimetre squares it represents one child. Doing this division you find that you get exactly 30. So there's obviously then 30 children represented then by this histogram. And that brings us now to the end of part D and the end of this question.